I am truly blessed for me to have an opportunity to give back. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our pleasure to welcome you to TQC Golf Ride. This is the terminating point of our flight. From the first day we stepped off that plane, got introduced to Honduras. It was a life-changing moment. Come here. 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 Hello, my name is Stefan, and uh, originally from Miami, Florida, went to Notre Dame, that's where I met my best friend, and my first job was uh, NFL athlete for Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> so I met Stefan my sophomore year of college, his freshman year, and um, right away I just hit it off. You know, really been best friends ever since. And throughout my time at Notre Dame, I had been coming down to uh, One World Surgery Center location here in Honduras every year. So Stefan kind of got some exposure. We talked about it a lot. You know, we always talked about how he wanted to come down and be a participant of this. A year ago, we were catching up. We said, hey, let's actually do it now. Let's get it started. So we planned it up and came out and just come to fruition now. One World Surgery Center doing something fantastic and lots of doctors so far all over the country are participating. This all got started probably on multiple levels of, uh, multiple levels of falling in love, probably. Fell in love initially with the concept of medicine, and I just had something in my heart that I want to do something medical mission related. And then I fell in love again with a woman named Lulu Romano, and we came to learn about Nuestros Pequeños Hermanos. NPH is an organization that has been here in Honduras for over 30 years. You know, people sometimes think we're an orphanage. We're not an orphanage. We're all about family. So for children that don't have family, for whatever reason, that's why we're here for. They come to us, they stay with us. About 11, 12 years ago, the idea of creating a surgery center started with Peter and Lulu fell in love again with a little girl named Angela who needed some orthopedic care. We brought her home thinking it was about six weeks but she ended up living with us for a year. When we were able to bring her back on the ranch she said something that changed her life. She said stay with me and I turned to my husband and I said now do something. She had really burrowed into our hearts and that's how we thought, came to the concept of keeping our family together by doing medical mission work together. I remember that they had taken Angela to the United States for treatment and then they came back and they came back several times and they were planning to build a, a small place to do surgery. It was just build a room, a surgical room, so we could come back and forth. And that ended up becoming One World Surgery. It was a good uh, experience from the beginning especially to see the great help that the surgery sentiment for the people of Honduras. Lulu is bringing something that Peter and her practice throughout their whole entire marriage, and, and that's an environment of family. You know, just to come out here and, to, you know, lend a hand, you know, just do my part in which I can help millions of people probably get a chance to see what great people are doing here within this country of Honduras. You know, a lot of people are scared, right? Just seeing a lot of doctors for the first time and uplifting the spirits, and that's kind of what my role has been. I'm fluent in Spanish, so I might not have the medical aspect down, but I uh, help bridge the gap. You know, keeping everyone, even the surgical staff and the nursing staff, keeping them engaged and happy, because it is long days, right? Where they're there from 5.15 till 6.15 at night. Johnny, tell us that everything will be okay. I've seen a lot of gruesome injuries in what I do. Football it just comes with that. It's a very hard physical contact sport. And getting the chance to hear some of the stories of these patients, the ability to be strong-minded, Hondurans are. I 
after they're done in the operating room, you can see on their face how grateful they are. They're super grateful and you just know like their life is turned around. A surgery here, a life-changing surgery, is approximately 250 to 300 dollars. We don't charge anyone for our surgeries. We fundraise all our resources. And we serve people that cannot get surgery anywhere else. These people need to be able to get an opportunity to bring home money for their families so everybody can eat. Muy estoy feliz. Muy contenta. Sí, muy contenta porque primero Dios ya me va a quitar este dolor. Qué bien, qué bien. So if you can change one patient, you can change their family. If you can change their family, you can change their community. If you can change their community, you can change their country. And if you can change the country, you can change the world one patient at a time. I was born in, in a very poor neighborhood in the Northeast of Honduras. My father is a farmer, uh, my mother is a housewife. Both of them didn't have more than three to six years of elementary school. They got divorced. The reason for this divorce was that my father had Parkinson's disease and he couldn't provide anymore for the family. He was told that there were orphanages in the city. That place happened to be Nuestras Pequeñas Hermanas. I knew that the reason why my parents got divorced is because my father was sick. And so I thought, well, I could be a doctor and heal my father and then they can, our family can come, come back together. Merlin is absolutely a, an astonishing figure for me and a hero in my eyes because it's not many people you see that comes from very, very hard situations and use those opportunities to take advantage of those opportunities to become the person that he became. I really compare my story to his. He was actually among the first four boys with whom we started NPH here in Honduras. A young man who is passionate, intelligent, smart, he does it all and, and we're honored and privileged to have him be with us. Talk to every citizen that's here and they'll tell you that he's a saint. He's everything for this community and he really wants to try to make an impact in this world. This is the family, yeah. Beautiful family. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. I realize, you know, how painful it could have been for my father to leave us in an orphanage, but when you want the best for them, you gotta make a big sacrifice. That's what love is. It's very emotional to me because I have two boys, and I know how that felt. If I ever had to see my two boys in a situation like this, I will always want them to be part of an organization that really truly care for them and have them grow. And when they see people come down, and volunteer like Stefan, you know, a successful football player will come and give a week of his life and just serve. They want that. We're transformed just as much as the patients are. You realize that you as a as a person trying to bind these wounds got more out of it. And I think he's such a wonderful person for the young people to to follow. To see people genuinely care about the lives of others is a profoundly good thing. Seeing the big heart he has, how he reaches out, and that in spite of being a prominent, famous football player, how humble he is and how he relates to everybody else, it's a joy to have him. We really want to make, I say, like a wrinkle in time, right? Make a big impact in this world, and this was a cool step for us to really go international and have this experience and accomplish the things that we want to do to help the world. To see people like Merlin, to see people what Peter is doing for other people and the passion that he has. You know, you feel that, it's real.